Hello there, so in this short video, we are going to discuss about a very tiny concept called as type modifiers in C++. So let's quickly get started. Now I'll start with one example. Example that I'm going to give you is very interesting. It's about pizza. We all love pizza, right? And we usually go to pizza shop to eat pizza. Now whenever we go to pizza shop, you can see there is a list of pizza. There is a huge list and in that list there are different different types of pizza. Uh, for example, there is a paneer pizza, there is a chicken pizza, there is let's say farmhouse fresh pizza. Let's say we have these three options. Now if you observe very carefully over here, ultimately the pizza is same or I'll say the pizza base which is the main ingredient is same. Only the change over here is the topping that, that are getting added on top of the pizza. In case of paneer pizza, we are going to add paneer as a topping on top of the pizza. In case of chicken pizza, chicken will be added as on top of the pizza. In case of farm fresh pizza, some veggies will be added on top of the pizza base. So ultimately, we have one single pizza base. It's kind of similar in all the pizzas. And we are just adding few more things to it and we are getting a new type of pizza. This exact same thing can also be done in our C++ data types. Okay, so in C++ we have one data type category that is called as primitive data type, right? In primitive data type, let's quickly revise what all data types are present in primitive category. In primitive category, we have integral data types in which we have two data types, integer and character. Then we have floating numbers data type in which we have two types float and double and finally we have some data types like boolean, void uh, and wildcat as well as we have discussed in the last or in some of the previous video right. So with these primitive data types you can add some modifiers and you can modify the behavior of these primitive data types. Isn't that interesting? So let's quickly start and let's see what is type modifiers in C++. So now we are going to learn type modifiers in C++. So in C++ there are two type of type modifiers. Okay, so the first type of type modifier is called as size modifier. Okay, as its name suggests size modifier is going to help us to modify size of the data type. For example, let's say we have integer data type. By default its size is 4 bytes. Maybe by combining some size modifier or by adding one size modifier on top of integer, we are going to change size of the integer data type. Okay, we'll see as and when we'll go ahead in this video. The second type of type modifier is called as sign modifier. Now sign modifier help the programmers to, you know, modify the behavior of the data type. So by default, let's take example of integer by default in integer variable you can store positive as well as negative value but let's say you have a scenario where you just want to store positive values let's say you have a, you have one variable and in that variable there is zero probability of storing negative values so in that case maybe you will need to change sign of your data type maybe you need to restrict your data type to only store positive values this can be done with the sign modifier so in the first category which is size modifier we have two modifiers the first modifier is called as long and the second modifier is called as short so in size modifier we have two modifiers long and short as the name suggests see long is going to be used to increase the size of the data type and short is going to be used to decrease the size of the data type. It's pretty easy. In sign modifiers, we have two sign modifiers. First sign modifier is signed. So as its name suggests, if we have signed modifier or if we add sign modifier to our existing data type, the data type is going to store positive as well as negative values and see by default data type stores positive as well as negative value so writing sign actually doesn't make any sense it's kind of implicit with the data types with the normal data types but we'll see ahead in this video then the second sign modifier is called as unsigned modifier what is this unsigned modifier if you add this unsigned modifier with your existing data type then the data type will start taking only positive values it will not allow or it will not store negative values it will just store or it will just allow it will just handle the positive values so this is unsigned modifier 
okay so i hope you are now clear with the four different different modifiers that are available in c++ first one is short short is used to reduce the size of the data type then we have long long is used to increase the size of the data type then we have signed signed is used for you know storing positive as well as negative value or for handling positive as well as negative value and then we have unsigned if you use unsigned with the data type existing data type then the data type will only deal with the positive value it will only store the positive values so these are the four type modifiers that are available in c++ now there are few important points about the type modifiers so let's quickly discuss them so the first point is about the short size modifier so this short modifier can be only used with int data type so you cannot use short with char you cannot use it with float you cannot use it with double short can be only used with int this is the first important thing to remember the second important thing to remember is about long size modifier see the long size modifier can be only used with integer or i'll say int data type and it can be used with double data type so long can be only used with int and double data type okay this is the second important point about the type modifiers then the third important point is about unsigned and signed sign modifiers see unsigned and signed sign modifiers can be only used with integrals now what do we mean by integrals in integrals we have two data types int and char so these signed and unsigned modifiers can be used only with char and integers you cannot use them with float you cannot use them with double so i hope now you are clear with all these three points now let's see how type modifiers behaves with integer data types so i'm going to show you one table and in that table i'm going to explain you how type modifier behaves with integer data type or i'll say how integer data type behaves with type modifiers so let's quickly get started i'll just expand this table for you see in the integer table we know that by default the keyword for int is int then its size is 4 bytes and this is its range so this is the minimum value that we can store in a integer variable and this is the maximum value that we can store in the integer variable okay and now we know that the range is derived from the size of the data type okay or size of the variable now if we use short with int short type modifier with int data type then how basically let's first see how we can use short with int so usually let's say you want to create a variable of integer type what you are going to do is you are going to write int followed by name of the variable if you want to create variable of short integer type see we are adding type modifier with our existing data type or our primitive data type and then it's going to become a new data type it's very similar to our pizza example you have a plain cheese pizza and you add paneer on top of it then it becomes a new pizza similarly over here we have integer we add short with it and then we have a new data type that is short integer what is the keyword for writing this data type it is short space int so for short type modifier we have short keyword and then for int we have int keyword so you have to write short int what is the difference between int and short int you can observe over here see size is changing by default integer is of 4 byte size but short int is of 2 byte size and as the size is changing again the range is also going to change because range depends on size of the variable let's see what happens when we pair long with integer when we pair long with integer you can see uh, how we write it in the keyword or what is the keyword for long integer type you have to write long space int you can see the size is changing the size is becoming 8 byte size of the integer is 4 byte in case of long int the size becomes 8 byte and you can also see the range is also getting changed it's a huge number you can store a huge value <laughs> in long integer data type then let's see what happens when we add signed keyword or signed type modifier with integer so in order to add signed keyword with integer or signed type modifier with integer see this is how you are going to write it you have to write signed space int so you can see it's very similar to the normal int see even the size and even the range okay that's what i was saying so basically sign modifier by default is present with your normal data type by default every data type is signed what do we mean by sign when a data type accepts positive as well as negative value it is called as sign then we have unsigned integer so if we pair unsigned type modifier with integer see this is how you are going to write it unsigned int 
okay so this is the keyword let's say you want to create variable of this how you are going to write in the code you have to write unsigned space int space variable name okay the size is again same that is 4 byte but you can see the difference over here you can see the range is getting changed in this case the range is minus 2 1 something something but over here the range is starting from 0 to some positive number so that's the meaning of unsigned data type modifier basically if you use unsigned modifier the data type is just going to store positive values and you can observe see you are able to store a big positive value now in this case you are able to store 21 47 something something but in this case the largest value that you can store is 42 something something so basically your range is you know getting extended on the positive side see the different values that you can store is going to be still same in this case also you are going to store same number of values in this case also you are going to store same number of different values but the range is getting changed so i hope now you are clear on this part i hope now you are clear on how the type modifier behaves with integer data type now let's quickly move ahead i have a small note for you so let's quickly see that note okay so the note says that long double long long int unsigned long long int is also possible okay so basically you can also pair long with double you can also pair long long multiple times with integer now what happens when we when you write long long int so long int is of 8 byte size and then if you write long long int then it becomes 12 byte size if you write long 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 int triple long int then it becomes 16 byte size so basically you can pair long type modifier multiple times and the size of the variable is going to increase but this is not the case with the short modifier see short modifier can be only used with int and it can be used only once so you cannot write short short int you uh, the only combination that is allowed is short int okay similarly you cannot add sign modifiers multiple times you cannot write sign sign int it doesn't make any sense similarly you cannot write unsigned unsigned int again it doesn't make any sense so this was a quick note about the long modifier now let's see how the type modifier behaves with the character data type let me quickly expand this table for you okay it's very simple table see by default we have a character data type uh, we represent character data type with char keyword its size is going to be one byte right and the range is minus 128 to plus 127 if see with the char we can only add two combinations of the type modifier that is sign and unsign you cannot use other two size modifiers that is short and long with character you can only use signed and unsigned with the character if you use signed with character then the keyword becomes signed char see there is a small mistake over here this s should be small okay the size is one byte again there is no change in the size because this is a sign modifier not a size modifier you can see again the range is same so that's what i was saying whenever you use signed it's very similar to writing a raw data type that is char so this and this is exact same i'll say then when you add unsigned with char what happens is size remains same keyword just look at the keyword keyword is unsigned space char okay so basically we are kind of adding unsigned keyword in front of the data type you can observe over here now the range is changing see the range is 0 to 255 so again the range is accepting only positive numbers it's not accepting the negative numbers so very similar with what happens with the integers now let's see how type modifier behaves with float data type let me quickly expand this table for you see with the float data type you can use long type modifier so only long type modifier can be used with not float data type the floating data types so in floating we have float as well as double so see by default size of float data type is 4 byte size of double data type is by default 8 bytes if you use long with double then size of the data type is going to become 12 bytes okay and again always remember you cannot write long float you cannot write long long float long can be only paired with double and integer so in this case i'm pairing long with double you can see what is happening uh, when you write long double then the size of the variable becomes 12 byte now why we need to write long double see by default you can store values in float you can see the variable size is 4 byte let's say you want to store a precise value let's say there are 
too many numbers after the decimal and you want to store a precise value then maybe you can go for double and let's say there are even again more digits after the decimal point that this double cannot handle then you can go for long double see let's say you are designing a spacecraft program where you have to launch a spacecraft on a certain angle then in such scenarios precision matters a lot see 0, 0.000 something angle difference can also land it on a different planet right so that's why precision matters a lot that's why whenever you are writing your program you need to think about it very properly what kind of value you want to store what is going to be the number of digits after the decimal and how much precision you want to have in your code so it matters a lot see if you are designing a system for storing student marks and then there's a difference bit of like 0.001 percent then it doesn't matter that much but in case of space launching program it matters a lot that's why you need to think about choosing the data type very properly so now i have few questions for you let's start with the first one so the first question is what modified data type should we use if we want to store an 8 byte integer value what should be the modified data type that we should use if we want to store 8 byte integer value so we know that integer takes 4 byte of memory if we want to give it 8 byte of memory we need to add a size modifier in integer data type which size modifier will help us to increase the memory it's going to be long size modifier so if you write long int then you are going to get 8 byte of memory for your variable so that's the answer of this question it's long int now I have one more question for you so the question is like this what will be the modified data type of a 12 byte integer which allows only positive values so it should allow only positive value and integer should be of size 12 byte so let's first focus on one thing how we can create integer of 12 byte size so by default integer is of 4 byte size if we add long to it once so if we write long int then it becomes of size 8 byte if we add long one more time so if we write long long int then size will become 12 bytes okay and again in this problem we have to only allow positive values so we also need to add sign modifier to it so which sign modifier will help us to allow only positive value it is going to be unsigned sign modifier so what you have to write is unsigned long long int always remember whenever you are adding sign modifier to the data type sign modifier needs to be written first then size modifiers and then your original data type the answer of this question is unsigned long long int okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed watching it